Hi, welcome back for another video. This time I'm not going to talk about uh, 3D or pixel art, but something in Unity, uh, namely scriptable objects. Scriptable objects are, in my experience, well, f for my personal um, skill development, have been very important because they've helped me solve issues that I wouldn't have known a, an, a solution for uh, before, and uh, they've helped me work in teams. So scriptable objects, how you can understand them, they're basically scripts that are not a component on a game object, but um, they're on a uh, an asset in your asset folder. So they're an actual file. That gives them um, uh, the unique position where you can refer to them from scenes, but they're not actually part of the scene. So their information is not serialized or stored in the scene file, but separately, which gives you the advantage of um, if you work in a team, you can have the artist working on the scene and uh, adding pretty rocks and stuff. Uh, and instead of having to lock up the scene to add some more items or change things uh, to the um, to the uh, put a new uh, mesh on the long sword or whatever, you don't need to get the artist out of the scene to do that because they are separate objects. Now, how I'm going to visualize this is um, as an item database. So I'm just gonna put a cube. This is a, uh, a player. I'm not gonna give them any scripts. I'm just uh, putting them here as an example. An enemy. So the player will have an inventory. The enemy will have a loot table. Both of these refer to an item database, which is this uh, object in this case. So I'm gonna add a component something that the um, that the player and the enemy can refer to when they want items uh, yeah okay uh, just gonna remove this so we want to save information called an item so we're gonna public I'm just going to give this item a public string. Mm, new keyboard. And a public uh, sprite icon. Public object prefab. I'm not going to assign anything to these last two, uh, but they're just for uh, for the example. So the item database would have a, a list of item. items. Um, now, in order to actually see this list in the uh, inspector, we're gonna either need to make it public, but that's not good design because if you don't need to make it public, then don't, because otherwise you're not sure if maybe other components somewhere are using it. But what you can do to expose it in the editor is do serialize field uh, in in um, rectangular brackets in front of your field. Uh, but to also do that, you need to say that your uh, custom class is serializable. So now if I go here. Oops. Yeah, of course. It, yeah, there's something. Yeah, there it is. So we want to assign three things to it. This is a sword, this is a shield, a potion. Now, uh, obviously, uh, the player and the uh, enemy can't get to this yet, but we'll just get a public uh, item, get item. Now, uh, this is not really important code, but it's just to uh, complete the um, example. Uh, return item, items dot find. Now it's going to return the item by name. Of course, you want to check if it exists, etc., but it doesn't matter for now. So right now, this is as I said before, all this information is saved in the scene. So this is serialized in this sample scene.unity file. So what you want is actually not have it saved in there. So let's take the items out. Nope. One item. 
can't edit. Yep. Uh, okay, I'm just gonna take this, get rid of this, and I'll put this in here. So, in order to actually make it a scriptural object, we want to inherit from just that instead of mono behavior. Mono behavior means inheriting from mono behavior means it's going to be a component. Inheriting from scriptural object means it's ca it can be an asset on its own. Um, now, the key thing to actually curating one of these is you need a specific line, which is uh, always escapes me. So, I'm just going to go to Google and say scriptural object Unity mistype it horribly and just look here and the first block you'll find this create asset menu this allows you to add an entry to the context menu when you right click inside unity and the assets here and the create so we're gonna add this on top I'm gonna customize it otherwise it's gonna say like I want to add a data file we're actually adding an item file and we're gonna do this um, this is the subcategory in the create, so the script objects order is not really necessary. Now we can go here and oh right, because I mistyped that. Now compile, yes. Now we can create a script object of type items, yes, because <laughs> we took that again wrong. So now we actually have a file of type item. Let's say this is a sword. So this is a sword. Copy it a few times, control D. And this is a shield. Shield. This is a potion. Let me just update this. So the file name of the script object doesn't really matter. It's just for yourself to organize things. You can also ask that, of course, by going uh, dot name, unless I hit it in this case. Yeah, I did, but yeah, doesn't matter. So now you can go to your item da database and actually assign these files. So from another scene, you could also refer to the same files. So you just change it once. If you want to have a different icon for your potion, just change it once in here. And that's the basics of scriptable objects. They're just assets in your project folder. Now, I hope this was useful to you. Um, let me know what you think, if this was useful, and have a nice day.